Are you sure you can do this job? Yes, sir. Well, I actually wanted a female caregiver for my daughter. But um, my very good friend who recommended you said um, you are the best hand he has in his hospital. So please, do not disappoint him. I won't, sir. Thank you. Well, as you know, your job here is to give my daughter exclusive um, care and therapy until she gets back on her feet. What she eats and her total well-being is in your hands. Do you understand? Understood, sir. Can you do it? Absolutely. I'll do my best, sir. It's all right. Oma! Oma! Sir! Please come. Take the young man here to the room at the left wing. Okay, sir. Where do you go? All right. Thank you, Chief. You're welcome. Yes, sir. It's okay. I'll handle it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Omar. Yes, sir. As you can see, that is a full-blooded young man. On no account should he be left alone with my daughter. Do you understand? Mm, yes, sir. Young men of these days cannot be trusted. Sometimes they behave funny. Mm. Always go around and uh, check what he administers to my daughter and when he does. Okay, sir. It's all right. As usual. The house is in your care. Let me quickly check somebody and come back. Okay, sir. Yeah, I'll see you when I come back. Bye bye, sir. Okay. This thing where this man talks like this, so. How did they consign me? Well, the conclusion be say. Now me they in charge. So even this doctor, they under me. I'm going to control him up and down. But this man what's in talk like this so? This no guy. You know what's in the talk? How doctor? We don't go school finish. Now me go come the control and they tell him what's in good and what's in no good. Huh. Anyway, I like him. I they in charge. <laughs> Ah, this one can get sense. Ah, I like this kind of thing. Hello. Oh. Healing comes when you have faith in the medication that you're taking. Put your mind at rest and believe that you will recover. I understand you didn't give my dad a duration for my recovery. No, I didn't. Why is that, if I may ask? Because it's not in my practice, too. Why? Because it could take more, or less. And I work with my practice, not timing. What if I want to know? Can't you give me an estimated time you think your process will take to work? Maris, relax. You'll be fine. Your fit will come back to normal. That, I can assure you. Hmm? Okay. You seem like a very kind person. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. <laughs> um, are you feeling anything here? Yes, pressure. How about here? Ah, pain. Okay, you know what? 
Let me know when you feel something. Okay. Mm, pressure? Yeah. Bye. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just wait. Just it feels heavy. So, I did. Yeah. Uh, how is my woman doing? She did fine. That's good. She inside? Yeah. Inside. All right. Oh, man, I uh, just came here to see my babe. God damn. You, 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 you guys, I'll be with you guys in the GF, okay? Let me finish here. I'll catch up with you guys, okay? All right, bro. See you. All right, all right. Over. Uh, all right, have it. Give it to her, okay? Uh, I would like to see her, but I know if I go in there, she's going to hold me down. Have a pirate to catch up with. My homies, my niggas are waiting for me. <laughs> all right, see you guys later, man. Bye-bye. Uh, Baby, you're really looking better. You know, it's only been a few days and I already feel so much relief. This guy is really good at what he does. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. I'm so you happy. You're looking so good. Thank you. Okay, but I'll make I give you. So you make a taste and he love you. Butler was here? Mm. He's just driving out. Okay. Take it to my room. That's nice. What is nice about it? That someone came to see his girlfriend who is unwell, yet decided to stop by the door. He brought gifts for me, but he couldn't even give it to me himself. He had to give it to the maid to bring it to me. How is it nice? Is that, is that why you don't want to check the item? I'm not interested. Do you know that Butler hasn't come to see me since I left the hospital? Are you serious? Are you surprised? The only thing he does is call me and make stupid promises to me. Come to think of it, all of this started after the accident. Yeah, he's doing this because I'm on a wheelchair. I can't believe this. These are some of the things that make me doubt the so-called engagement. Aisha, I don't want to suffer in marriage. I cannot endure this after we get married. Give me one reason why this guy was here. He couldn't even take two minutes to come see me. Instead, he's getting me stupid gifts. What, what does he think I need his gifts for? What I need is his attention, his care, his presence. You know what? I'm done talking about this topic. I beg, let's, let's talk about something else before I get upset. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I've had enough. It's now, just try. I'm tired. Try. <sighs> Come in. Um. What are you feeding her? It is bits and plantain. Why would you feed her that at night? It is what I cook now. It is what you cook. Please don't feed her such meals at night, okay? But you say she feed the eat um, beans and plantain. I know about you, you talk. But not at night. Take that as a correction, okay? 
Okay, I will call her myself. You know what? I need to give you an outline of what you're going to be cooking for her. Okay, sir. Breakfast must be between 7.30 and 9 a.m. Okay, sir. Dinner must be between 5.30 and 7 p.m. Okay, sir. Now, please take this away and go get us some salad and freshly squeezed juice. There will be no need for that. I'm full. Madam, you sure? You're not going to sleep on uh, empty belay. I told you already that I wasn't really hungry, right? Besides, I had some of this already. I'm fine. Mm. Yes. You can take it away. Alma, um, just listen to instruction. Yeah, they, bring, they bring a freshly squeezed system. They bring everything inside this guy's kind of house. How are you feeling, man? I'm fine, thank you. How are, are you? you? I'm okay. Are you sure you don't want something to eat? Yes, I'm sure. I'm very full. Okay. Shall we? We shall. Yo, yo, we got it all, man. God damn. <laughs> yo, pops, yo, big dada. Tell me who had a badada. <laughs> what are you doing here by 11 p.m.? Hey. It's almost midnight. Hey, come on, come on. I came here to see your daughter, my girlfriend. I just came here to see her. Hmm? Ogla is too late for such visits. Hey, hey, why will you say that? Come on, this is like my second home. Okay, yeah, come on. I have every right to come to this house. Right? Hmm? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. This is my house. And I am the one with the sole right to decide that. Hmm. And so when I tell you you can't see my daughter at this time, I mean it. All right. All right, no problem. Not against you, not denying the fact that yes, it's your house. But yeah, come on, I just actually I came here to see my baby. Just let me see my baby, give her some good kiss, and then I'll go back home. Yeah? You good? Butler, it's been days since we came back from the hospital. Why are you just coming now? Hey, come on, you know I'm an investor, man. I'm a businessman. I've been so busy with work, with business. Oh, come oh yeah, and as a matter of fact, my homies, my niggies came from South Africa. Someone like Slice or Britico, Babake, Asaba IP, all of them, sexy, all of them all came to town. We just got a pen to town, right, man. They did some good pool party. Guess what? <laughs> See punanis, punanis everywhere. I oh, got so much. Anyway, you won't understand because you know you're old. We are in Gen Z. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, I was here earlier. You didn't tell you I came visiting earlier. You didn't tell you. Nobody told me. Oh, that. come on. You see, you see, the good news they won't tell you, or the bad news is what they keep telling you, man. I actually came here today with goodies, goodies. I came to show your daughter my love. Make her understand I will die for her. That I care so much about her. Branch into the mall, got some good chocolate, pizza. You know she like pizza. Different types of pizza. 
pepperoni, chicken, all together. I mean, I got, got everything biscuit. And I gave it to her. Come on. And I didn't tell you. God damn. Uh, Ogla, I can see you're drunk. Please go home. Hey, why would you say that? I'm cool. I'm okay. Look at me. <laughs> Balance. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I just, I just want to say, <clears throat> really, I, I love your daughter so much. I actually came to let her understand she's the most beautiful girl. Yeah, ever. Okoro. <sighs> please meet my daughter's fiance at the parking lot and um, drive him home. Hey, come on, come on, I'm fine. I can, All right, he'll be there. I can drive myself, I'm, I'm good. Okay, okay, uh, let's not look like I'm disrespecting But now my driver is waiting at the car park to I drive you home I don't want to disrespect you, I, I will do just that, okay? okay. Oh yeah, all right, uh, give me some narco. Chop narcos. Bokla, please go. <laughs> chop narcos, chop narcos. <laughs> all right. Sure, okay. <laughs> what a wasted resources. Good morning, my dear. What an impressive improvement. Daddy, I feel so good. Oh, I can tell from the look. She's very strong. I assure you, sir, in no time she'll be back on her feet again. I can't wait. Wow. This is a great testimony. Daddy, since I had this fracture on my ankle, I haven't been sleeping well until Dr. Nelson came around. And now, I sleep so well. I don't wake up in the middle of the night to nurse my wow. pain. <laughs> this is good news. Good to hear that. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Nelson. Thank you. My pleasure, sir. Thank you, Dr. Nelson. My pleasure. OK. Ready? Yes. Baby steps. <laughs> mm -hmm. Daddy, see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gently, gently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all right, Doc. Just take it easy on her. Eh? I will, sir. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, you know what? I should probably get Oma to assist you. Assist me in doing what? To the bathroom. Now I can take care of myself. Just stay close and I'll be fine. Uh, but she needs to help you. No, it's not like she's going to bake me. So what's the point? Right. I can handle it. <laughs> okay. Once I have Dr. Nelson <laughs> by my side, yeah. I will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Almost there. Butler, I am not happy with you at all. Hey, why? What was my offense? Are you really asking me that question? Oh, you want to sit here and feign ignorance of what you've done so far? 
hey, come on, you know I like to see what I want to see. Oh, really? Okay, <laughs> do you? Hey, come on, come on. I, I, I didn't mean it the way you think. That was not what I meant. Butler, you have changed. Since I had this fracture and I was admitted at the hospital, you barely came to visit me. Now, this is the first time I'm setting my eyes on you since I came back from the hospital. Why? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I got so busy with, with team activities yeah. like... More important activities than your girlfriend. Butler, you've changed. You don't care about me anymore. I've been bored and lonely. Thank God for social media and for the caregiver my dad got. Otherwise, I probably would have been out of my mind or maybe depressed by now. Thank you for social media. Yeah, look at you. You've rested enough, okay? You're looking so good. Thank God for all my she's taking good care of you. I'm talking about the therapist my dad hired. Oh, your dad hired a therapist? Yes, he employed a new therapist. And he's been so wonderful. It's only been a few days and I feel so much relief. Yes, yes. Feeling relieved. Awesome. Nice over that. I like that. Get well soon. And see, baby, I can't wait. I just I pray for you all the time to get well soon. So you can get back on your feet. You know, I like going out with you. Yeah. You prayed for me, yet you couldn't come see me. Huh? Hey, babe, come on. Like, like I said, see, babe, oh. Listen, everybody miss you. Like my friends, everybody keep talking about you. Really? Yeah, babe, come on. Are you sure you can still use a leg with your high heat? Can you still be high heat when you get wet? Well, the doctor says I'll be fine. God damn. <laughs> like that. Like that, babe. Listen, come on. I keep praying for you, like I said. I can't wait to see you again on your feet. On your high heat with your sexy bone shot. And walk psychedelically. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're ready mm -hmm. because I'm coming back hotter and sexier. Give them. <laughs> I can't wait to, 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 just, to just be with you and paint the towel red. Hey, come on, baby. Come on, you missed out. Yeah! The last party I attended? What? Only God knows where the brothers guys from. Hot. Looking so straight, kinky looking at God damn, wait, 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 guess what? I wasn't looking at them. I wasn't seeing anyone. Mm. I was just looking at them and I was seeing you inside them. I was like, hey, I can't wait for my baby to get well so we can paint this star red. You weren't looking at them, yet you described being them so perfectly. Yeah, they walked past oh, me so I just... The... Oh, please. Hey, come on. Okay. Smile for me. I hope I get well soon, so I don't lose my man. Hey, come on. Have you forgiven me? Yes. All right, all right. <laughs> come in. Is everything okay? Are you feeling pains again? Oh, I'm fine. You don't look fine to me. I'm not happy. Doctor, why can't you just tell me what I can do to get well quicker? Look, if it's money you want, I will pay anything. Just name your price. I just want to stand up and walk. I'm tired. Okay, where is this coming from? Why the pressure? I'm not happy. I am not an introvert, but here I am, always indoors because of this, this stupid ankle fracture while my boyfriend is out there partying with other girls. Is that really your problem? Yes. Look, doctor, please tell me the truth. Will I ever walk properly with this leg again? You have to help me. I don't want to lose my boyfriend. Please. Maris. I'll pay anything, doctor. Just name your price. Please help me. Listen, I don't think you should let this 
pressure you? Well, I'm pressured. I am. Take a look at me, doctor. Do you think any man in his right senses will admire me? Am I still beautiful? I forgot you haven't seen me before the accident, so you won't know the difference. Okay, Maris, you need to relax, okay? And as for that boyfriend of yours, if he truly loves you, he wouldn't put pressure on you to recover fast. Instead, he'll be here holding your hands and encouraging you to get better. Okay? Look. Your desire to get back on your feet should be driven by the fact that you want to feel good about yourself again. And not because of some guy who doesn't care about you or who doesn't love you enough. <laughs> All I'm saying is that, give it some time, you'll be fine. You overcooked the vegetable. Do you have an uncooked one? Alright, I'll make something better if you want to start. I don't know. You really have a lot to learn about that. I'll be right back. Oh, huh? You want to show me how you're going to sit with this? Are you there? The guy loves you, babe. That's all that matters. I know he does. It's just that sometimes he behaves like a psycho. He, but he loves you, like. He... Wait, why are you advocating for this guy? How much did he give you? Wow. Is this my daughter? Yes, Daddy. Welcome Looking back. Looking so happy and <laughs> cheerful. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Mm -hmm. How are you guys doing? We're fine, fine. thank you. Good. So, how are you feeling this evening? I, I feel much better. The pain has subsided. The doctor says if I feel even better tomorrow, he will relax my medication. Oh, that's good. That's good. Thank you, Daddy. That's very good. Is he upstairs? No, he stepped out. Do you need something? Oh, not really. I can see he's doing a good job. He definitely is. I'll see him when he comes back. All right, Daddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Are you so your happiness, my friend? I'm happy. I am happy. Okay. That money he gave you, we'll share it. <laughs> Don't worry. talk about that therapy I wanted to introduce you to. 
Oke. Okay. Tell me about your childhood. My childhood is that different? Yes. It brings back sweet memories that make you see life different. When you talk about certain things, it brings healing and hope for the future. Well, there is nothing special about my childhood. I grew up with every other child. I only remember my dad spending the nights with me. When we lost my mom, we cuddled up and cried in each other's arms until we slept off. And we did chores together. We did practically everything together. From all you said, I can only pick out rivalry. Rivalry? Yes, the guy is obviously in love with you. And that's why he's doing all that. Aisha. I'm serious. I didn't want to say anything, but the way he looks at you, I can <laughs> see it in his eyes. For real. Madam Sia, you don't know what you're saying. I'm serious though. Like, it's so glaring. Now listen, Nelson is just being professional. He's very passionate about his job, and that's all. Uh -huh. If you say so. Mm -mm. It's not if you say so. It is what it is. Yes, this man loves his job. He wants me to get better, which is why he's putting in his whole efforts. He's doing everything he can to make sure I get better very soon. I hear you. Look, I'm, I'm serious. I know, I know. I back off. I hear you. What kind of stupid thought is that? He's in love with me. Care. How? From where to where, please. so busy and I'm trying to settle in. Plus, the network in this estate is horrible. I can barely make calls sometimes. Why are you settling in? Are you staying there? Yes. The man said he wants a live-in caregiver, so I had to stay. But you didn't tell me. Hmm. I'm sorry, babe. I was going to call you and tell It's been over one week, Nelson. I keep going to the house to look for you and meet your door locked. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry about that, okay? I'm sorry. Nelson, I miss you. Besides, I should know where you are. So, okay, I'll, I'll send you the address very soon so you can visit. You're going to two weeks in that house already. Give me the address. I want to come and see you and know where you are. Maybe soon, okay? I promise. Soon. Okay. I'll talk to you later, okay? Good night. I wiggled my feet today. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> wow. That's good to hear. Yes. It's very good. Yes, Daddy. Nelson is giving me all the care and attention I need. Mm -hmm. I think that's his magic. You speak so well of him. And that makes me happy and then uh, have confidence in him. Oh, he's a very good person. He's a professional to the core. 
You see, Maris, aside from his um, balance uh, for the contract with us, I think I need to give him a handsome handshake. I mean, it's something he can use to start up a project for life, yes. for himself. <laughs> Let that be a way of showing appreciation to him for making my one and only daughter work well again. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you. You see why it's good for people to be good at what they do? Absolutely. <laughs> In no time, you'll be back on your feet. I am positive. <laughs> Let me try wiggle it again. I'm telling you, just give it some time and you won't feel anything anymore. That's what you keep saying. Yet you can't give me a definite... Oma, oh you didn't knock. When I love this, I forget. Excuse me. Go ahead. Madam Moga, bottle I say, make I bring you come downstairs. Say, make I come dress you up. Say, I won't carry you come out. I won't carry you. Come on, come dress you or bring you downstairs. What? Why would he send you on such stupid errands? I don't know. No. You can go. Oma? Huh? Please tell him that Maris can't go anywhere with him because she hasn't had a morning therapy. Mm. Morning therapy? Not for me. Well, I'm not very sick. I don't know when I come here. She hasn't had a morning therapy. Can you imagine sending her to come get me like a piece of property he acquired? Okay. You ready? You don't need to do that. Oh. She's not done with that therapy section. It's fine. I'll wait for you to let her use her be yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, I think I am done. Thank you. I feel much better. I'm glad you do. Yeah. All right. Ouch! Okay. Sorry. Easy. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Easy. Mm -hmm. Easy. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll see you later. Okay, thank you very much. Please. Are you sure this thing is not paying you? It's paying me, you. Sorry, sorry. Especially when I try to turn. Sorry. 
think he applied too much pressure. Really? I'm sorry. So sorry. That's fine. Meanwhile, guess who was here a couple of minutes ago? Mm. That nice silly boyfriend. I saw him downstairs. Oh, you saw him? Reeking of alcohol. Can you imagine, Jacob? He came here and called me to come out, that he wants to take me out. And I'm like, I don't understand. Did you plan an outing? Then he sent Oma to come get me dressed. Like, what kind of madness is that? Crazy, but uh, at least... Did you give me this little ear? This little ear for what? Uh, you know you guys party a lot mm. before. The... Is that what you're following again? Mm. He's the one calling. You're not going to give him this You're not going to listen to him. Listen in air for what? Mm. At least now, give him a try. Okay. Mm. Dressed for what? Did you and I plan an outing? Rubbish. Why is all you be complaining that you're bored? And you know your man, your man likes to party with you. I mean you guys have been partying before the accident and I I think you're a bit you can you can you know? Please. Nothing too crazy, just please, 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 just just go, you'll be fine. Ah, ah, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, sorry, sorry. I'm almost scared to touch it though. I'm so sorry. I'm sure Dr. Yeah. Nelson did a good job, right? Mm -hmm. he did. Okay. Sorry. Ah, oh, welcome, sir. Dr. Nelson. Yes, sir. How are you? Very well, thank you, sir. Good. Welcome, Chief. How was your day? Ah, uh, well, so so. Well, thank God, I'm yours. Mine was good. That's good. Uh, Oma! Oma! Sir! Uh, yeah, how are you? Where's my daughter? She don't come out. No, she's in the room, sir. No, she don't come out since so we talk go uh, Botola. When was this? That time where he come, come go. He come back again. Then he follow until Aisha come out. And she didn't tell me that she was going out? It's all right, Nelson and them. Uh, I'll handle it. I know she'll be fine with him. It's okay. Um. I'm gonna get my stuff from the car. They're your briefcase. Yes, get them. Okay. Okay, Chief. Uh. Sorry. Now you've made her miss her evening therapy. Does that make you happy? No, sir. 
this out, bro. I'm sorry, like I said, we're, we're carried away. Brother, don't keep my daughter at this place again. I don't like it. Not for the fact that Maris is attached to this boy since their childhood, and for my relationship with his father, I would have ended this rubbish. My daughter's happiness after marriage to this boy is not guaranteed. Doctor just carry carry tiny table like this, enter inside kitchen, come confuse me. This man knows I won't do here now. Nah. Eh? And him not even there around now. I ask him what that when I cook span gain I be make I just do sauce. Then I go wait for him. I go wait for him. Enter when just come back. Make come to cook now cook. And if you come back and tell me say this time, don't delay it. Eh? I will just leave this kitchen for I'm making just do anything we want to do for inside here, man. Come out here. This kind of person be this one. Small cooking like this will be so very, very easy for a person like this. That's when you just come, confuse me with the timetable. Make a cooking. Pangenti. Men come back. Men come back. Could Aisha be right? Why does he care so much for me? Even more than my boyfriend does. I'm sorry I yelled at you. It's okay. I completely understand your frustration. No doctor would be happy to see his recovering patient go back to the state he worked so hard to get her out of. How are you feeling now? Better. All right, no more outing until you're strong enough to move on your own. As your lord pleases. I'm serious. And I just submitted to your counsel. Because this your don't give her hard that don't give her hard this uh, as it they confuse me. Oma, I'd mm? like to have pap for dinner. Mm. Okay, doctor. She don't want to do okay for this night. Yes, she can have pap. I feel like I just asked you because I don't finish and now you can't deport me like contraband. <laughs> I don't like that. Thing. 
Yes, she can have Pap. Okay. Pap. Rama, you can go. I don't want sugar in it. Oh, sugar. No, sugar. This girl is just a character. Yeah, she needs to have a comedy show. Absolutely. <laughs> so, we get to wrap this up? Yes, um, to get you something. <sighs> Gabosola, welcome. How are you? Where is, uh, where is she? Who? Your girlfriend? Yes, Maris. She don't come out. She follow Dr. Komot. For how long have they been gone? I don't know. I don't know. And did she tell you where they're going and when she's coming back? She don't tell me anything. She just come out. All right, give it to her until I came to see her. I'll give her a call. Yeah, okay. 
그리고 Look at this one. What? I bet no vessel. I just want chocolate, chocolate. This man just they buy for your girlfriend. Like say, na small picking one can see. Daddy, oh yo yo, daddy, oh yo yo. I beg, I'm not going to do what they do. Maris is sleeping, so please do not go in there and disturb her rest for any reason, okay? But what if your papa say he wants to see her? Then tell him she's asleep. I'm sure he'll understand. Okay. Um, doctor, I beg wait. This cooking time table will give me. It's really confusing me. How and why is it confusing you? You don't come make my simple cooking now. Nah. Hard. Eh? Before now, to cook no they had me. But since you carry this your time table and time side kitchen, I just they confuse any any her. And now I understand what you make. Some people they they go to school because of food. Oma. I've observed that whenever you want to say something silly, you speak in pigeon. Because that's the best way I can express myself. What is confusing about the timetable that I gave to you? you okay, you know, say you talk say um, from 5:30 in the evening to 7:30. Make I make I make something light uh, and make I garnish them with uh, with vegetable. Yes. Uh -huh. I don't finish all the whole something like twice I bill. And, and this evening now, I don't want, I don't want to repeat food. Mm. I think I can't ask you. <laughs> Oma, what and what do you have in the kitchen? I get vegetable, uh, spaghetti, yam, pap, and rice. Everything. I get everything. Okay, so make something light from what you have. Hmm? Yeah. Something. It's something light. She died in a... Now you're my cook. This boy I've been waiting to call and talk to me and waiting to call and tell me say, I have a food. I think it's not light food. I've been waiting to talk self. It's just this boy you really hear with my talk. I've been just answer me like that. I could so, I could so see that in time table. She can't come with this one. God, I beg. God, I beg. Me, my madam, come start to the walk out with her leg. So this man will carry nonsense character, in nonsense timetable when they use it to stop me for this kitchen. Can I am come out? Even Ogata Mason, I'm there in charge. He no even want to hear that one self. Just they overdo, they overdo, they book out, they do it. They pass himself. 
put one in the car and they give my mother. She go chop finish. She go tell me thank you. If I don't finish, give her. You go tell me say eh, say like heavy food. You stay one place now. This knife said no, it won't strong. If I complain, now they will say to they complain. Baby, I've really missed you. I missed you too, but why did you call to tell me that you're coming? Come on, babe. You don't even take calls. You don't respond to messages too. You can't come here without telling me. It's because I can't be a person. Oh, don't say that. I'm being... Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, I couldn't just wait any longer. I really missed you. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Why are you so quiet? I'm trying to concentrate. Are you angry at me? No. Yes, you are. I can feel it in your voice. Tell me now or forever remain silent. <clears throat> tell me, tell me. talking about Butler. You can't say no to him on any account, which is why you continue to make compromises to be with him even when it's not convenient. Nelson, Butler is not as rough as you think of him. What happened that day was just an accident. He will never hurt me deliberately or let anyone. Right. Trust me. If you get to know him, you will like him. He's a good person. I do not want to get to know him. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, I'm done. Nelson? Uh -huh. Just like that? Yeah. Wow. But you just started. Yeah. Oh, that was 
see you later. Okay, what just happened? Is he jealous? Why would he be jealous? Oh no, this is not happening. Shoot. <laughs> Can you just stop laughing? This is serious. Why should I stop laughing? It's funny. Look, I didn't know what to do or say. And since last night, we haven't spoken to each other. And you know the funny thing, we both have lovers, which makes it very complicated. So, how do I go about it? Do you love him? Huh? Do you love him? Huh? I... I don't think so. Look, I don't know. What I don't know is that I... I like him. I kind of like him. Why not talk to him about it and see if you can get him out of his shell? And what do I do with the aftermath? At least you'll be sure. After being sure, what next? You try to talk him out of it. Tell him that you're already committed to Butler. And besides, you should focus on his girlfriend. Um, what if I don't want that? I thought you said you don't love him. Look, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I... I'm just confused. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say now. <laughs> I better say something. I just don't want it to stop. I, I don't know, please, I beg, before mm -hmm. I say what I was supposed to say. Okay. I haven't seen you since this evening. Did you stop out? No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. He's in his room. In his room? Yeah. I'm just going from there and I went to give him his food, but he said he's not eating. Why? He said he's not hungry. Are you serious? Is that why you're here? Yes. We don't starve our guests in this house. My dad will not be happy if he finds out you skipped a meal. Well, I'm not hungry. Why are you not hungry? Let's just say I don't have the appetite for food. Okay. Since you're refusing to eat, I'm not going to eat anything too. You can't do that. You're on medication. I will take my drugs without eating. And who's going to let you do that? Fine. I'll eat something. In that case, we will have to eat together. Because I need to be sure that you eat something. Okay, just wait in your room. I'll bring food upstairs. Really? <laughs> 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 
I don't trust you. No, 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 okay. no. I'm actually serious. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, for real. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 You sounded like there was an emergency about the phone, only for me to come here and see you sitting like an abandoned baby. Aisha, he has finally opened up. Wait. What did he say? He says he's in love with me. What did you say to him? Nothing. What was his reaction to that? Of course, he knows I'm in a relationship, so he wasn't expecting an acceptance from me. He just stood there for a while and he left. So at this point, what do you feel? What do you think? Like, what do you think? Aisha, honestly, I wish Butler never existed in my life. What? You know I've been tolerating him. Sometimes I get scared of what the future would be like with him. Sincerely, my friend, I think you should just follow your heart. Because I have the same fears about Butler. Marriage to Butler would be a whole lot of headache. I'm telling you. And I just want you to be happy. I honestly don't know what to do. Regardless, I'm happy for you. <laughs> uh, this is so confusing because there is Butler and there is my dad. Your dad. This is so confusing. Yeah, uh, my baby. My baby, go, go upstairs. Um, bring her downstairs. I'm not taking her to go. Rufma asked you, no vest. What do you want to do for this whole life? No need to drink, club. Ah, what's the more you do like this? Are you mad? Are you talking to me like that? Who are you? in my house working for me. I can pay your salary 10 years. Yeah. What's the problem? Nonsense. Why are you guys shouting? Shout. You shout. Do you get a lot of what you're doing? You shameless, rotten daughter. Yes. You're skimming your way. You, 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 you're trying to to grab like your friend and take her from the house. I'm going to lie. Man enough to protect her, to stand. And you, go upstairs and call her. Don't call. Don't call. Uh, 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 that's it. What, man? Her father is not around. And there's no way I'm letting you take her out. Who are you to stop me from taking my girlfriend to the club? Who are you? I will suck you. I will leave you off your job. Your okay. days, days are numbered in this house. Your, your job is finished. As I was saying, in the absence of our father, yes. I'm in charge. So when you get back home, have a good night rest. Nonsense, talk. Nonsense. Talking. Pudarash. 
Şibrişli. Bring her for me. Bring to close. Welcome. Hey, Oma, how are you? I did fine. Where's my girl? Maris. Your girlfriend? Yes. Oga, doctor can go hospital. And go do check up. Is it? Doctor. Doctor Nelson can go hospital and go do check up. When? Today. For what? Hello? Hey babe, what's up? Hey, where are you? The hospital for my checkup. With who? For what? Why? Why didn't you tell me to take you there? Babe, he's my caregiver. The, what the fuck? What are you saying? Am I complaining that I'm busy? Did you tell me and I told you I, I, I won't be trying to take you there? Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. We don't need that guy, okay? We don't need him. Please. This guy is stepping on my toes. He's biting more than he can chew. Nelson. Yes. I am not happy with the reports I'm getting. Even Butler's father called me concerning the issue both of you are having. Why are you doing all this? Sir, Butler came here in the middle of the night and wanted to take Maris clubbing. I simply said that she can't go clubbing, especially because you're not around. Please, did I do anything wrong? Was that what really happened? Yes, sir. No, not at all. You didn't do anything wrong. Even if I was at home, I wouldn't have allowed such. That's what I thought too. Well, I'm sorry if I've offended you, Dewey. No, 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 sir. No offense taken. Please. It's all right. Nelson, I must commend you for the good work you are doing. Thank you, Chief. You see, you are good at what you do. And I think you should establish your own therapy center very soon. Yes, I am. Um, I'm definitely going to do that once I have the money. Oh. Yes, sir. That would be very good. Thank you, Chief. That would be very good. Yes, sir. Um, uh, would that be all for now, sir? Oh, that would be all. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sorry. Yes, sir. Don't worry, okay? Ah, 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 ah. Don't worry, you get better soon. Hey, gradually, gradually, you see? Aha, aha. Okay, ha. Huh? God damn. Babe, see, see, you're beautiful. You're the most, you're the most beautiful girl in the whole world. See, you see, actually, God created you on Sunday morning, 6 a.m. That's why you're special. Look at you, look at you. <laughs> you got everything, front, back and all. See, I can't wait for us to get married, man. Yeah, and I'm ready to empty my bank account. See, we're gonna paint this town red. We're gonna paint this town red. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I wanna spoil you. Empty my bank account. You've done good exercise today. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh! Sorry. Are you alright? Okay. Alright, uh, babe, I have to go now, okay? My friends are waiting for me. I have a gig. I have a gig to attend, so I'll, when I'm done with them, I'll, I'll come see you. Okay? Hey, come on, come on. <laughs> hey, come on, smile. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. Alright. <laughs> Smile for me, baby. Smile. Smile. <laughs> See you later. No. 
the sky cannot be the right one. I can't be stuck with this kind of man for life. Forever is so long to end up with a junkie. saying so because you feel that's what I want to hear? No, because my heart wasn't with him. I missed you, Nelson. I wanted to come back home to enjoy your pampering. Nelson, you said you loved me. Are you sure it's love? What else could it be? It can be anything. I love you. And I love you too. Since my daughter is recovering very fast, isn't it better I let this boy go before he impregnates my daughter than destroy the relationship with my family and the entire family of Butler? His father is not happy. And if I should let Nelson have his way with my daughter, it would be a betrayal. Wow. 
I can't believe my dad would go this length to shut down my happiness. I was too stunned. I couldn't even say anything. You know what? Take the money. What? Yes. Take it. No. No, I, ca I can't take the money. But... Nelson, there is a reason I want you to take it. Why? Well, what's your reason? That money would be a good startup for a therapy center. Yeah, but I can't. Nelson, if you love me, you will listen to me. Just take it. Dad, I'm not happy with you at all. Why will you take such action without talking to me to know how I feel about it? Maris, Butler will raise a lot of dust if I encourage you and Nelson. I'm not even sure you know what you are doing with I him. I do, Dad. I love him. We're in love. Maris, that is careless love. It shouldn't be and I don't see it as such. The Nelson in question here has a very beautiful relationship. Look, that will bring shame to me. And a lot will be at stake with your Obimodus family, and you know it. Daddy, I want you to tell me the truth. Would you rather have a sane son-in-law or a junkie and psycho like Butler just because you want to protect your reputation and maintain family relationship. Maris, the Odumodus family have been very wonderful to us. But last mother took care of you like her own daughter. Now tell me, if she were to be alive, do you think she will easily forgive you for breaking her son's heart? Do you? You see? So that's too difficult to swallow. Oh my right. Okay. You already know what I'm here. I'm here to see Dr. Nelson. My boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Dr. Nelson. Mm -hmm. You don't go. You don't come out. You don't go, you don't come out. What do you mean you don't go? Oh, when that? I don't understand you. Which one is done? What do I mean? You don't go, you don't come out. What do you work going to do? I'll be, if you want to finish, you'll go stay for this place. No. You don't go, and I'll be saying don't go. Okay. Why is Two days ago. Two days ago? And Nelson didn't bother to even call me or come check up for me at home. That's strange. That's. Hey, Auntie, I beg. Where you come to come to I love my kids. I don't know where you, who you want me to answer with too much questions where they ask. Oh, you double as a gay person. It don't concern you. Hey, <laughs> 
Hey, how, how you doing? I'm fine, Jesse. Oh, yeah, I'm right. Please call. My name is Butler. You? Yeah. Why did it? Hey, come on, you're too pretty for that. Anyway, stand the my woman shut up. Why the same time? I'm not looking for new friends. I understand. All I just need is a number to me. Okay, oh, my bad, my bad. I will put you on that delicate car. Okay, I'll give you a ride. So we can just check on that. Okay, one, minute, one, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. One minute. How dare you disrespect me? How dare you? Now listen, you are grounded for two weeks. For no reason should you step a foot out of this house till further notice. What problems? If I had known, I wouldn't have stayed out so long. Now I'm stuck in this house. Dad! Take back your word so, otherwise there'll be another prison break in this house. Dad! Dad! Hmm. So all along I was right. Huh? Hmm? And it made me believe I was fooling myself. <laughs> Your so-called therapist, a schemer, has been trying to manipulate you, put some pains into your head, make you believe that I'm not good enough for you, that he is the better one. 
and you fell for it. Huh? Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, you broke my heart. But you know what? He is smart. And I am smarter. Oh, yes, I'm smarter. His fiancée, the girl he's planning to get married to, was in my bed a few nights ago in the hotel. What? <laughs> How do you even know, Jessica? We call it sweet revenge. Two can play the game. He played his and I played mine, even better than his. Oh, yeah. What do we call this? You broke my heart and she broke his heart. And you know what? The good thing about it is she is sweeter than you. Better than you, 100%. You can see the way she was screaming. You don't even scream. All you do is... <coughs> you can see she was giving a different sound. And sprinkling those showers. And, ah, do you know? You're good for nothing. Sense, slout, bitch, not even sweet. Huh. How did I stoop so low to date a low life like this? Thank goodness for Nelson. Good radiance. What? I can't believe that she would do this. Nelson, we are together, no? Because I don't understand why you care about what she does with her life. I'm just hurt that you would treat me like this. Here I was, feeling guilty and brooding on how to break up with her. Wait, does this mean that she's been cheating on me with other men? Well, I haven't been cheating with other men. Yet, I give myself freely to you without much consideration. You see, sometimes people connect so easily. And it feels like they've known each other for decades, which makes them do things they ordinarily wouldn't have done. So, it's understandable. It's good friends. Okay, um, let's talk about the reason I invited you to come. I was just about to ask. <laughs> Close your eyes. Close my eyes. Mm -hmm. Why? Just close them. Okay. I can say what I'm still. Mm -hmm. Your eyes are closed. <laughs> Wow. 
Yes. Yes, Nelson. I love you. <laughs> Mom, this is so beautiful. Listen now. Stop. Like I don't. I don't. What is it? Come Did on. I stop you? now. Why are you upset? I'm not upset. Mm -hmm. eh? What is this? Listen. If there is one thing I hate in my life, is someone nagging me. I don't like it. So the thing is, since the last time we met, okay. you refused to call me. You don't take my calls. You don't respond to messages. You don't even. You don't even like my pictures. You. You don't. You just act. You just acted as if you don't even know me, like we've never met before. What yeah. happened that night was just a fling. What? There is nothing serious between us, okay? Yes! We had fun and I, 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 I left. What? Do you know you're a very stupid guy? Yeah? Yes! Do you know you're so foolish? Are you serious? Yes, I'm talking to you. So who is more stupid and foolish between the both of us? No, tell me. Tell me who, who is who, who is more stupid? Who is foolish? Who, who, who is a rogue? The night I met you, I spent more than 300,000 naira in the things you were ordering. You were picking, picking, picking. Even told me you needed human hair. That same night, you called somebody to come and deliver human hair and I paid money. I bought that human hair for you. Who is an idiot right now? I don't know, but you are the idiot. I'm the idiot. God, we punish you. God, we punish you. God, 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 God. God, we punish you. God, we punish you. God, we punish you. God, we punish you. God, we punish you too. You will never know peace. You will not know peace too. It's just, it's just the worst. I'm not there like today. Thunder will strike you. Where God will cost you. One night, I spent almost close to one million naira. You're not ashamed of yourself. Oh, 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 pure. Get lost. Get, 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 get. You shameless, shameless, good for nothing. You are just. For nothing. All in the name of all in the name of pussy, you want to enter my bank account, idiot. <sighs> is it not your mate? Is buying cars for people? <sighs> you shameless guy. <sighs> Don't that strike you? <sighs> Can I even get a car from this place? <sighs> hey, babes. I'm not even going to lie, I'm confused right now. I am so confused. I don't know how to break this news to my dad. Don't be in a hurry to tell him. First of all, happy had to ask conversation with him. Right. Then when he has accepted him, boom, we have a wedding to plan. See your mouth like we have a wedding to plan. <laughs> I know that that's the only part that interests you. Yes, so I'm a proud bestie. Ready for bridesmaid duty. Oh, Shay. Honestly. Aisha. Yeah. Thank you so much. You've really been a source of encouragement to me. Mm -hmm. And I pray that someday soon you'll find your own happiness. Amen. No. Amen. Because <laughs> this Lagos man. Uh, it's because you're too picky. You, you want Todd that can have some. Okay? I you. Todd that can have some with <laughs> money. <laughs> You see one money on top. You have a doctor to a hat on a wow, I'll be good. Yeah, I want to buy it soon. So that I'll have with money. Baby, I'm so happy for us. I mean our story has changed, especially for you. I'm so glad that you have own your own therapy center. You're so wise. You invested in properties and of course you retain your own place. That's nice. It's so wise of you. I'm happy for us. This is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is why I'm about to take the next step. Yes. <laughs> why not? <laughs> 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 Yeah? Take the best step. <laughs> Stop. 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 Stop.
But you mean? Why do you always like to break promise with me? No, you don't have to always act awkwardly. Just put the ring the back in there. <laughs> I want to especially thank you for helping me make the best decision of my life. And I would also like to especially inform you that I'm getting married to Maris. Yes, my patient. You know, I was in a dilemma of choosing between both of you before the news of how you shamelessly slept with one came to me. So, thank you for helping me make the best decision. When you're done, get out of my house. Please, please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please consider my request. Please. Maris, what, what actually did you see in that boy? What's so special about him? Dad, the truth is, I see you in him. Nelson is a very good man. Whenever I look at him, I see your attributes. He is just a duplicate of you. I know I was too young to understand the relationship between you and my late mom. But I know you were a great husband. And you've been the most amazing father any child could pray for. Daddy, please. I'm begging you, Daddy. Let Nelson marry me. I love him. I love him with all my heart. And he loves me so dearly. He's the only man in this world that I can be with and not miss you so much or cry so much when you're no more. Daddy, please do this for me. Please. I truly love him. <clears throat> it's all right. Tell him to come with these people for introduction. Dad? Yeah. I'll be a beast to deny my daughter such happiness. Oh my God. But for truth, he's a good boy and I like him so much. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. I don't bring these people. Uh, yes! Yes! Thanks, Daddy. Are you happy? I'm happy. Let me call him. Let me get my phone. <laughs> Once again, I welcome you and your sister. You see, I have uh, taken my time to study your kind of person. And I've come to realize that you are a very responsible and focused young man. And that is why I am doing what I'm doing. You see, what I'm about to do now, it's like uh, giving out my precious child to you. And I want you to cherish it. I am happy your sister is here today to be a witness. Well, there is nothing I can do, my 
daughter here has made her choice. All I can do is give my full support. So please, I'd like you to love and cherish my daughter. Whatever touches her, touches me. Yes. As you can see, we are no longer just a doctor in the house. We are now my son in law. Thank you, sir. So, <clears throat> thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha. 